What's up everybody? Blair here and uh, we are going to be testing out the new Centerpoint 430 Wrath crossbow. I got one for Christmas and uh, haven't shot it yet. I'm over at my buddy Doug's house getting sighted in. So we're starting off with a little close shot here at 20 yards and uh, there it is. Centerpoint has, been, uh, has bought um, Raven so these things are going to be a lot of Raven technology in them now. They're going to be combining the two companies and you should see a lot of improvements come out of that for center point so we're going to give her a give her a shot and see what happens all right so give you the walkthrough on the wrath 430 4 by 32 scope and uh you know i've seen other videos they say that these need to be replaced you know you can buy a better scope things like that i'll be honest we just shot this thing 15 times to get it all sighted in and we haven't had any issues with it i'm gonna run it i'm not gonna swap something out i mean i'm not shooting 300 yards i don't don't see it being a big issue there overall very compact you can see from overhead i mean this thing is 15 inches across maybe when it's fully cocked it's uh 430 pounds feet per second it's 164 pounds of thrust 200 pound draw weight it's a bad unit man i like how the cross the crossbow bolt holder here the quiver is is parallel to it instead of across so that tightens up your footprint as well but all in all super impressed with it and uh we're gonna see if we can shoot a deer with it this year maybe during uh urban archery and get out there in the field with it get some real world experience but i'm impressed i think the kids are gonna love it it's gonna be great to get the wife and kids out hunting and uh i'll probably still use the compound quite a bit but in the interim and out of the towers and stuff like that when you can't shoot a bow and arrow this thing will be great all right, so one thing I did notice when we're pulling these arrows out, it's gonna be hard to see on a GoPro, but if you look right in here on this arrow, there's a split, like some, some fracturing and a couple horizontal running cracks in this arrow straight out the box from center point. So make sure you inspect your arrows. It's funny because the split is literally at the end of the word of arrow safety. <laughs> so make sure that you take the time to really check your arrows out before you shoot them. I'm not going to shoot this arrow. I'm actually going to contact them and uh, have them send me a new one or something. See what they say. I'll let you give you an update on that in the comments later on. But uh, check your arrows out. The rest of them seem to look good. All right. So dial this thing in. The stirrup makes it nice to be able to like get it where you want it. Fingers clear. Not bad. We got it dialed in. Well, that's how far we're shooting. We're about 45 yards, 40 yards. And uh, she's hitting bulls, but uh, she's still off just a hair. I'm getting it just fine tuning, just last little tweaks here. Well, that's a good way to close that out. There it is. Center point 430 Wraith. Super impressed. We have not had one out of the bullseye zone on the target since I took it out of the box uh, doing this whole sight in process. Uh, this last one looks really good. And it took me about 15 shots to get it dialed in. Started at 20 yards, took about five shots, uh, and then stepped it back and I've just been fixing it from there. But there it is. It doesn't get better than that from way back there. And you know, the whole reason we're shooting one at a time, I'd show you a group, but I'm afraid that we'd Robin Hood one of these things because I mean, we've been here, 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 here. I mean, that's, everyone has been in this general area or this general area. We've just been getting really picky trying to tighten it up, but that's a wrap, guys.